We want to introduce you to a woman named Caroline and her incredible story set against Civil War Louisville. In the fall of 1862, Caroline DeMent, an enslaved woman from Tennessee, followed the United States Army north as a return to defend the state of Kentucky from Confederate invasion. Caroline seized on the opportunities of the Civil War to try and secure her freedom. But when she arrived in Louisville, she was arrested by local authorities for being a fugitive slave. The Jefferson County Court remanded Caroline to the family of Willis and Annie Levy. There, she would take care of their child Blanche and the household to await the return of her owner who would retake Caroline back south into the institution of slavery. Things began at first relatively peaceful. Caroline worked for the levees and everything seemed to be going fine. She met with her husband, she lived and continued to work. But then things grew tense. Uh, Caroline was bemoaned by the levees for staying up late to meet with her husband, uh, leading to the damaging of several pieces of property or throwing out waste onto a freshly painted fence. When Willis went to operate on a freight boat out of Louisville, uh, Caroline was left with Annie and Blanche. The tensions between the family reached a crescendo when Blanche died early in 1863 from strychnine poisoning. The levees quickly blamed Caroline for Blanche's death. The Jefferson County Court agreed and sentenced Caroline to hang for the murder of the young child. Quickly though, local Louisvillians responded to Caroline's pleas that she had not poisoned the child. Uh, local neighbors protested the fact that Willis was a rather disagreeable gentleman and had strewn poison-laced meat around his property to kill their pets. Lawyers and local ministers rallied to Caroline's defense. Uh, eventually, with all of this pressure, Caroline is pardoned and she steps out of the Jefferson County Jail, a free woman, but we kind of lose Caroline after that part of her story. Caroline's really important though for two reasons. On one hand, she shows the struggles that enslaved individuals faced in the Civil War era trying to acquire their freedom, but she also contributes to the narrative of the Kentucky Historical Society and how we are evolving treatment of the past and how we are continuously seeking out partnerships and new stories to tell a more robust tale about Kentucky's past. It is through partnerships that we are able to build and tell this story about an African American woman's struggles to gain her freedom, but also the way she challenged the structures, the legal code of Kentucky during the Civil War. To learn more about the Caroline Chronicles, visit us online at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfurt, I'm Doug Hyde.